This is a picture of Harriet Tubman. And this is a photo of Rosa Parks. Both women lived in very different times, but what they did helped to change America. How did they do that? Let's find out. We'll begin the story of Harriet Tubman. Harriet was born a long time ago in Dorchester, Maryland, around the year 1820. She was born into an enslaved family. Enslaved means people who are owned by and work for another person. Enslaved people did not get paid for the work they did. Many enslaved people worked on large plantations or farms that grew sugar, tobacco, or cotton. These plantations were located in the southern states. It took lots of workers to grow and pick cotton. Enslaved people worked very long days and had little time to rest. Enslaved people never had enough food to eat. They never had nice clothes to wear, and they never knew when they would be sold to another owner and be forced to leave their family. Plantation owners bought and sold enslaved people at auctions. Living as an enslaved person was very difficult. Plantation owners in the South made lots of money because they didn't have to pay the enslaved workers. For that reason, they didn't want slavery to end. When Harriet was born, slavery had been legal in America for a long, long time. But many people believed that slavery was wrong. The states in the North began to end slavery. Most Northern states made slavery illegal or against the law. Like most enslaved people,